remember that Paul was up there in Galatia, so he was up there dealing with the Greeks. In fact, most of his journeys, you know, were up in Galatia, you know, what do they call that sculpture? The, the Colossus, and the Colossus of Rhodes, the largest statue in the world over, over the harbor. He was in uh, Thessaloniki, he was in Corinth. All of those are Greek places, Greek speaking places. And it is true that he taught at the synagogue in almost all of those places, but he was also teaching Greeks. And the Greeks were the ones who were worshiping the angels. The Greeks were the ones that were still steeped in revering Zeus. In fact, if you go back and you look at his speech that was given on Mars Hill, when he gave the speech to the unknown God, he says, you got all these other gods out here. I'm going to preach to you about the unknown gods, since you guys are worshiping everything else. They had literally everybody else. They had all the other fallen watchers. Of course, they had Greek names. And if you go and you look at the uh, Pergamos altar, which John says is what? The throne of Satan. And where Satan dwells, that's in Kizion. I know you, Pergamos, where Satan dwells in the throne of Satan is. Well, that was the Pergamum altar. That Pergamum altar got picked up by Bismarck, hauled off to Germany, and Hitler used it to create the Nuremberg Tribune. That was his model. That particular Pergamus altar has depicted on its foundation is the Battle of the Titans. That is to say, when the giants were being killed. And who were the giants? They were Nephilim. They were the sons of the gods that they worshipped in Greece. Zeus and Athena and, you know, Arturus and all of those others. And that's who he was talking about. He says, he says, let no man in his own pleasure bear rule over by humbleness of mind and the worshipping of angels. Now, who was he talking about in particular? Hard to say. I don't know who the guy was that was in, in uh, Colossia that was giving him this grief. But somebody was there preaching a uh, worshiping of these uh, Greek gods. Paul was at odds with the Essene culture. No question. And he called them the Ebionites, and he denounced them. And I think the Ebionites also denounced him. In fact, that there's a record. I've heard of a record that came out of the scrolls there in Qumran that convicted Paul. And uh, they have nothing nice to say about Paul. So they were definitely at odds with one another. Now, the Essene culture, I mean, I haven't seen a lot of worshiping of angels out of the Essene culture. Now, you could say, but look, you have the idea of Gabriel, Raphael, Penuel, Michael, right? The archangels or the archangels that are also listed in the book of Hanok. You know, you, you get a full, replete discussion of all those angels. They appear also in the book of Tobit and, of course, Michael and Gabriel are named throughout all of the New Testament. There are people that worship those angels. You know, pray to St. Michael. Pray to St. Gabriel. You know, in, in Georgia, it's in all of Eastern Europe. It's pray to St. George. Let's pray to St. George. All of these, again, you, you are worshiping angels at that point. You know, and that's possible that it was something that simple. How about the people that run around with the St. Christopher medal around their neck? Or, you know, I forget all the other saints that they have available, you know, where you can buy the medallion and away you go. There's a lot of it going on today, too. Shamo